It's, it'll be surreal, to be honest with you. Uh, the, the players, uh, as it winds down, we had a tremendous team meeting on Friday night at the hotel in Birmingham. Um, and, you know, the, the, the thing that, that, that this team has got, it's got a mixture of players of the 30 guys that came here with a vision, came here with a dream of playing Division One football, and now that's played out. Now, it's changed along the way, okay, from what they thought it was going to be, uh, but it's changed for the better. And you look at guys like John Russ, who started every game, Kirby Southern, uh, who started every game, Tosin Aguilar, who would have started every game had it been for injury, uh, Tyler Ward, uh, and the list goes on and on. Those are just some of the guys that have been playing a lot. List goes, th those guys came here basically as a, as a, um, a, a non-scholarship athlete. Now they're on scholarship, but they, had, they didn't let the fact that they were non-scholarship athlete get in their way of being the starter for four years or being a starter for three years. They knew how talented they were, and they got, on the inside they got so much heart and so much uh, desire to be the best. And that's been the most amazing thing for me, watching this whole thing transform, is these, these guys that have been here from day one, that have played a lot of snaps, uh, you know, you, you would have thought that we would have out-recruited them. But we haven't out-recruited them because you can't out-recruit heart and you can't, can't out-recruit soul. And that's what they got. And that's, that's the big thing that for me in looking at this group. And they'll always be remembered as the first, first team to, to bring football back here at Mercer. And they did it in a bang, a 10-2 year.